So I wanted to do a video, not news, so much news related, but discuss about something that's, it bugs me. And I regularly see comments, you know, in my comment section, one being, he's just as bad making high school DxD season five videos every month and summer titles are clickbait. I want to talk about this because I'm very self-aware of the content that I make. I'm very self-aware of the titles that I make and I'm very self-aware of the line that I have to walk. But I want to break some things down and I want to lay out some hard facts because I think some, and I'm sorry, I think some kids come into my channel and they don't understand how the real world works. I don't enjoy doing the news content. I do it more of a obligation and a loyalty to my fans that have been around for so long that come to me for news. It's also the fact that I am generally just so sick of anime news in general in the Anitube space and how bad it is because it is an absolute cesspit of how it's presented. Now, do I walk a very fine line as far as titles go? Absolutely. I've admitted it multiple times. Do I sometimes make, you know, a DxD video regularly? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Saying it's every month is disingenuous because sometimes I will go without making a DxD video for like four to six months and then sometimes I will make three in the same month. So saying it's always every month is just disingenuous. It can fluctuate quite heavily. It just depends on what information is out there. Sometimes there's new merchandise. Sometimes there's new volumes. Sometimes the author says something. And I'm just using it as an example because that's the recent video I did. And I get comments like this all the time. But the word clickbait is a funny word because I've learned over the last six or so years that the word clickbait has a very different meaning to a lot of people. And I would know this because what I would have classified as clickbait six years ago was very different. And when I got to a point that I was calling out one smaller channel that was just outright lying, I made a, I made a poll on Twitter at the time. It's now X, but at the time it was Twitter. And I made a poll and I outlined are these titles clickbait? And the vast majority of them said no. And these are the same titles, by the way, that are people are now saying that are clickbait to me. But the vast majority say it's not clickbait. And so one of the things that I've learned as a content creator is that some people see the word clickbait very, very, very differently. Some people see it as just a clever way of getting you to click something. Like, say, for example, if I said, Rius's Grimmery's Melons are amazing, and someone said, that's some good clickbait there, that's what they would classify as it because it's it's catchy to them so it's clickbait and then some people will say things like you know high school dxd season five will it happen question mark is clickbait now i used to do and i still do do the will it happens it's why a lot of channels now do will it happens i started that formula I know I sound a little bit egotistic there, but I did. I started the formula. I started it because I got sick of all of the release date update videos, and then they proceed to sit there and say, oh, there's a rumor that it's going to come out in the next three to six months, and it was just them making up a rumor. See, I have very good memory of the past that I had to come through when it came to the clickbait wars, or the deceptive video wars, or the news wars, whatever you want to call it. Because way back in the old days, it used to be websites that would just say, rumor is it's going to come out in the next three to six months. And then that three, six months would come up and they go, oh, it got delayed. And they just keep doing that until they say, oh, it got canceled. And that would be kind of the rinse and repeat cycle that they would do with all of these series. And when I started calling them out, they changed their tone. They started adding will it happens as an additional component to their title. And then they started using some of the research that I did, number crunchings and all that kind of stuff. And they would use images that I use because I use a specific blue border and I'd see it in theirs as well. And then they would change it to fan speculation. And so as time went on, they evolved their content. And then we had the massive influx of YouTubers or anti-tubers that are basically more or less just bots just regurgitating what those websites say. And some of those websites have their own channels and some of those channels have their own websites. It's like one would have started the channel, then made a website, and some had their own ch websites first and then made a channel. It more worked when they had a channel and then went to a website because what would happen was they would use their website as a reference source and pretend it's not theirs. 
And so as time went on, a lot of rubbish got made. And I tried to inform people on what is real and what is not. That is the thing that I pride myself on in the actual videos itself, is making sure the videos are as factually correct as possible and transparent on what is speculative, what is a leak and where that leak source is from, and all the rest. Now, as time went on, I tried to hide some of the sources because some of those channels would go to my videos and just like sift through everything I do and then just regurgitate on their own video and then throw in some rubbish. There was one channel, it was like a, a, a one that was ran by a kid and he, he would go through my videos, repeat everything I would say and add the word um a lot in it. And I just got to the point where I'm just like, what is the point? I don't enjoy doing the news content. I don't. I find it repetitious, I find it boring, I find it tedious. And I know I'm grinding a little, like, whining a little bit, but I've been doing it for years, and I have been debating for a couple of years just quitting news content and just focusing on the analysis channel, which is my second channel, which is the one that I generally want to put more time towards, and I generally do put more time towards, because I do light novel reviews, or light novel analysis, character analysis videos, anime reviews, all kinds of like general anime light novel manga stuff and I enjoy making that content. I want that channel to do much better. I want that channel to grow to what it should have been because way back my analysis content and my news content used to be on the same channel. It all used to be on this channel and then I had to split it because it was hurting each other and it hurt a lot for me personally because my analysis channel did really well. Back in the original days when uh Overlord Season 2 and Season 3 came out, I was getting bangers after bangers. You think my news content did it? <laughs> no, my Overlords were getting 150k plus views. Those were bangers, and I was doing really well back then. And it was the same for the DxD videos. My DxD light novel reviews and my character analysis reviews, or my character analysis videos, were doing really well. And I've moved a lot of that content over, and it is still doing well, but not as well as it used it did on the main channel. But I had to separate them. And I want to focus on that channel much more. And so I am looking at ways of trying to grow that channel, doing some collaborations and promotions and stuff. But it's just one of those where I'm like, yeah, it, it stung. Now, the thing is, is that I see a lot of people whinging going, oh, but your title's this, your title's that. Here's a reality. If I was to title the videos exactly as you deemed correct, my channel would be dead in a month. Will you support my channel when it's struggling because I'm titling the videos exactly as you deem correct? No, you won't. You won't. Most of the ones whinging, you won't. So I have to play a very, very, very dirty game. But I don't ever lie in the titles. That is a line I won't cross. I won't lie in the titles. So for example, my recent High School DxD video is High School DxD Season 5, What We Know So Far. That is not a lie. I'm discussing about what we know so far. Is it a bit of a walk on the line kind of title? Absolutely. But it's a line that I have to walk. Because I I basically, I either make those titles or the channel dies. And at the end of the day, what would they deem correct? I put the word will it happen and I still get classified as clickbait. So what would be classified as not clickbait to them? Just not putting a title. And that's an honest question that they won't answer properly because they don't know what a proper title is because they just whinge for the sake of whinging. What you should be focused on is the channels making shit up in the actual videos, especially channels that will spend 10 seconds talking about some studio stuff that did a collaboration for 10 seconds and then the rest of the video is just them opening merchandise and going, look, this is about season five. That's, like, that's not about season five. My videos might be between four to eight minutes long, but at least they're about the actual topic itself. At least they're about what it's there. That's the thing that frustrates me the most, is that I'm the one that's getting called the villain when the other channels are doing this extreme stupidity. And I, yes, I have to play dirty to be able to walk alongside them and correct where the mistakes are being made. Because if I stop, you're in for a far worse situation. So, I just wanted to rant a little bit about that because honestly, it is getting frustrating. I don't enjoy doing a lot of these topical news videos. I would prefer to just focus on my analysis channel. That's honest. And some people will say, well, go do that. Trust me, there are going to be a lot of people that are going to be really disheartened when they find out that I'm going to stop doing news. I'm not going to, 
but I'm just venting my frustration about it because it's one of those where it's like I'm in I'm in a losing battle. I either anger people or <laughs> I have a dead channel. So hey, if you want to see my high school DXD analysis content, go to my analysis channel because I actually do DXD light novel and character analysis videos on there where I talk about Akino and Rias's melons. I actually do. So yeah. And there's a lot of good content coming out there. I've got some ReZero content. I've got some Darmachi content going out there. So definitely have that to look forward to. So I don't know. Bit of a rant. Don't even know if I'll upload it, but I probably will. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.